Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an update video, talk to you about some things that's coming up, um, and uh, preview a few things, right? But um, more importantly, I want to give a huge shout out to three students who have now earned um, black belt ranks, and they have been promoted and they've worked really hard. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about these particular students, uh, their journey in ninjutsu, and um, kind of just give a big, big shout out and congratulations to those three students, right? Now, before we begin though, I always give a shout out to all of my new viewers. So if this is the first video that you guys have seen of me, my name is Krista Jacobson. I'm the headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, which means School of the Warrior Way. We teach Koryu Ninjutsu and Koryu Bujutsu, so the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. This organization does have other areas of focus, such as reality-based self-defense, weapons training and tactics, uh, concealed carry, survival skills, martial arts theory, thought and philosophy, martial arts conditioning. If any of those areas interest you at all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell. That way you guys can keep up with everything that we're doing. I do post two to three videos every single week. So if you guys are interested in any of those topics, please subscribe, click the bell, and keep up with what we're doing. So to start this video, let's start with the shout outs and the congratulations on the rank promotions. So congratulations to Mr. Walters on his Shodan first degree black belt. Congratulations to Mr. Heath on his Nidon second degree black belt. And congratulations to Miss Jocko on her Nidon second degree black belt. Now, Mr. Heath and Miss Jocko also were awarded at Minkyo in individual arts. Uh, so Mr. Heath, along with his Nidon second degree black belt, Mr. Heath was also awarded uh, Minkyo Shodin in Kokoru Kempo and Minkyo Shodin in Tenjin Ryu Jiu Jitsu. Uh, Miss Jocko also was awarded her Nidon second degree black belt in Burudini Jitsu, and she also was awarded her Minkyo Shodin in Kokoru Kempo and her Minkyo Shodin in Tenjin Ryu Jiu Jitsu. Now, I just want to make this quick little point. Getting a black belt in this organization is not an easy task at all. And I do know that most organizations say that, but we mean it here within this organization. Um, I've been teaching um, internationally on a worldwide level for almost 20 years. We're in our 17th year. And in the 17 years that I've been teaching, we've only awarded 14 black belts. That's less than one a year. Uh, this is not a black belt mill in any way at all. In fact, my highest ranking student, Mr. Dupree, he's been with me for 14 years years out of that 17 years and after 14 years of training he is a third degree black belt working on his fourth degree so this is not a black belt mill in any way at all and I know that a lot of organizations tend to say that they don't give out rank uh, easily but you know their statistics prove otherwise I can say that I've been teaching professionally for almost 20 years and we are nowhere close to even having 20 black belts and um, I think that's you know kind of a badge of honor for this organization that you know to be a black belt in this organization you have to earn it and um, it is a small select group of people that actually get in and for those that really bust their ass and work hard and uh, make it into this small group of black belts that we have um, they earn it and um, you know I'm really proud of everyone that has done it now I do want to say with all the years that I've been teaching out of the 14 black belts that we have awarded uh, two of them all have been ex communicated and they are no longer recognized so if you guys go to the website you're only going to see that we've awarded 12 black belts um, but that's just because we have had two other students um, because of their disrespectful actions that they had um, while they were here and the way that they left this organization um, they have been excommunicated so although yes we've given 14 black belts within the last 17 years of teaching on a worldwide international level um, there's only 12 of those black belts that are actually recognized now, kind of going back on that idea where I'm talking about it's, it's really hard to get ranked within this organization, I truly do mean that. And like I said earlier, I do believe that most organizations say that and they, they kind of, you know, that's what they're supposed to say. But then when you look at their numbers, their actions do not support their words. Here, our actions support the words. We've literally been, um, I've been teaching on an international level um, to thousands of people all over the world uh, for 17 years and we started in 2004 and in that time 
we've only awarded 14 black belts, uh, two of them excommunicated, and there are only 12 of those black belts are recognized. And I think that's kind of an important bit because here, like I said, we really focus on character development, um, preserving history and tradition, authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. Um, we want students to be able to have skills and reality-based self-defense to be able to protect themselves, protect the ones that they love, and um, live with honor and dignity and respect uh, and, and, and follow that code of the way. And uh, we stick firmly to that. And the people that don't want to do that, they need to leave um, or get, you know, dismissed from this organization, right? So for those students who are recognized as black belts in this organization, they have really busted their ass. And whether they're still with this organization or not, if they're recognized as a black belt here, they've earned that. And although we've had students who have earned the rank of black belt and then decided to leave and take their training to a different type of martial art, um, that happens and that's okay. Some people want to take their journey elsewhere and there's nothing wrong with that as long as they were respectful uh, while they were here and they had a respectful exit and they've always been respectful to this organization um, after they've left those students have always maintained as recognized black belts within this organization. Unfortunately, um, we have had a few students who were very disrespectful while they were here, and their departure was also extremely disrespectful, so we have had to um, excommunicate a few of them, and they are no longer recognized. But for those students who have busted their ass and got to this point, it's really important that we do recognize that because it is really hard uh, to get a black belt within this organization. The, the, t the testing is super difficult, and I'm not going to get into it because I made a video a, long, a while back, a few years back, and I explained how, how difficult the black belt exam is, the Nidon exam, the Sandan, and um, people were telling me that I'm crazy, it's too much, no one should have to do that, you know, blah, 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 it's too intense. I think it speaks for itself that very few people are going to get a black belt in this organization, um, and that's because it's hard, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, the three people that got their black belt ranks, again, was Mr. Walters, who received Shodan, first degree black belt in Budodi Ninjutsu. Uh, Mr. Heath, he received Nidan, or second degree black belt in Budodi Ninjutsu, Minkyo Shodan in Kokoro Kempo, and Minkyo Shodan in Tenjin Ryu Jiu Jitsu. Ms. Jocko received Nidan, second degree black belt in Budodi Ninjutsu, Minkyo Shodan in Kokoro Kempo, and Minkyo Shodan in Tenjin Ryu Jiu Jitsu. Now, as many of you guys know, um, the Q Don rank system is being ranked in Budodi Ninjutsu. The Budodi Kai teaches an art called Budodi Ninjutsu. Budodi Ninjutsu is comprised of five areas of training. One or the most common area that everyone knows is the seven warrior traditions, uh, but that's only one of the five areas. Uh, Budodi Ninjutsu are those five areas of training coming together to help train the student in authentic ninjutsu and bujutsu, reality-based self-defense, survival skills, and everything they need to help them grow as a martial artist. So uh, Budodi Ninjutsu is the expression of what we get from the training of these particular arts, right? For those students that go above and beyond, and they do more than just the curriculum, they do extracurricular training, um, they do additional training, and they want to get um, traditional ranks in the individual arts that is available. And um, for it doesn't that type of training doesn't start until after black belt, but once you receive your black belt, if you want to um, get individual scrolls and minkyo in specific arts, that does happen. And um, so. Miss Jocko and Mr. Heath both were awarded Minkyo Shoden in Kokoro Kempo and Minkyo Shoden in Tenjin Ryu Jiu Jitsu. Now, for some of you guys who don't know the the old ways of receiving rank, Minkyo system was predates the Q rank Don rank system. So the Qs and Dons that we see now with the belts, it's more of a modern. Um, uh, award of rank. So uh, we do Q ranks and Don ranks in Budo Ninjutsu, and that's the average student is going to go through the Q ranks and Don ranks and here at this organization and be ranked in Budo Ninjutsu. For those that go above and beyond, they get the traditional ranks. Traditionally, if you look at Minkyo Shoden, that's equivalent to a black belt, it's equivalent to a first degree black belt. Uh, Minkyo Chuden, if you take all the information on the Chuden scroll, that's all that information is kind of equivalent to a fifth degree black belt. Uh, Minkyo Okuden, which is the third scroll, that's equivalent to a tenth degree black belt or Grand Master. The only rank after Minkyo Okuden is called Minkyo Kaiden, and Minkyo Kaiden is um, full transmission. That's the only rank you get after Minkyo Okuden, and it's the only rank that is above a tenth degree black belt. And what's important is if you were awarded a Minkyo um, Kaiden, that puts you in the discussion as quite possibly the next 
soke of that particular art. Now, although uh, Miss Jocko and Mr. Heath only was awarded their Minkyo Shodin, so that's the first scroll, it's still just the first step in their journey. And hopefully they continue to train hard and stay focused with their training and they can get further and further in their studies in those particular arts. I think it's also important that we talk about time in as well to a certain degree. Uh, Miss Jocko started with us in 2012 and since 2012 she is now uh, you know, at the rank of Nidon. Uh, Mr. Walters, he started in 2015 and he just now got his Shodan. Uh, Mr. Heath, he started in 2016 and he just got his Nidon. So, um, you know, it is based on the individual. We don't do it by, you have to be this many months before you get this rank, but the requirements are quite difficult and those guys have been really busting their ass. And um, I am extremely proud of them. And you know, I wanted to make a video to share with all of my students, supporters, and, and viewers, and followers, and subscribers that, you know, these three individuals have been with me for many, many, many years. And this is a big thing, you know, to get a promotion and to, to achieve um, a rank and a promotion and to advance in something that you dedicate yourself to. That's that in itself is very honorable and respectful and you know they've been busting their ass and I just wanted everyone who follows me to know that that they worked really hard and I am extremely proud of them now I was going to also add some updates to this video but to be quite honest with you um, I think it would kind of take away from the message that I was trying to put across on you know this organization is is um, hangs its hat on being difficult to get a black belt uh, these students have been here for many years they got the rank of black belt which very few have ever um, have ever been awarded. Uh, two out of the three have advanced in the black belt ranks, which even fewer have done that. And I think if I add any more to this particular video, like talking about updates of the organization or things like that, I think it would take away from the excellence that these three students have um, achieved. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to end the video here. So one more time, a big shout out to uh, Mr. Walters, Mr. Heath, and Miss Jocko. Congratulations on your rank promotion. I am so proud of all three of you. It is an honor to be your instructor. Uh, it is an honor to have you three within the Budokai organization, and I look forward to many, many, many more years of training with you guys in the arts. For those of you guys who are interested in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, please check out our website at www.budodininjutsu.com. There you guys can see uh, the seven traditions that we teach, philosophies of training. You can also see a list of schools. If you guys don't live next to one of our schools, you guys can always join the Budodukai online ninjutsu dojo and you guys can start training with us that way. So again, thank you guys very much for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, take care, be safe and good luck in your journey of Budo.